What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Welcome back to our week of Windows 8. Today we're gonna to be looking at Internet Explorer 10 and giving you a little guided tour around the application. So when you're here on the Metro interface, you see right here, Internet Explorer. You can just turn that uh, and click on it and it does this little turny animation thing and it brings you to the Internet Explorer interface. Now, you're looking at this interface and it's very much different from what you're probably used to. The bar for going to the websites for searching is now at the bottom and everything else is kind of hidden away and tucked away. So it gives you a more seamless full screen interface to look at. So right now here I have bing.com pulled up and I'll give you a little tour right now around the interface. So right down here at the bottom you have your navigation bar on the left hand side. You can go back, you can forward. Uh, in the center here you have your big bar that shows you around not only for entering web addresses but is also your search engine as well so you can use it as one seamless bar. You can start searching for whatever you want and quickly and easily uh, interact with that. You also have the refresh button over here, the pin button. So if you were on a website that you liked and you wanted to pin it to your Metro interface, you would click that button real quick and you can name it and I can name it Bing and I pin it. And when I go back to the Metro interface, you can see right here that that's Bing. And when I click on it, it loads up the website quick and simple and it's ready to go and use. So that's really cool if you have frequent websites that you like to visit and you want to pin it to your Metro interface, you can do that very easily and seamlessly. Also over here, you have the wrench icon where you can do multiple things. You can uh, find a word on a page if you're looking for a specific word. Uh, you can even view it on the desktop as well. Now, there's one thing that I wanna show you there and if we do a quick uh, search here, so if I search for maybe Twitter, and I know I spelled Twitter wrong, but if I come over here to the wrench icon again, you can see Git app for this site. And what Git app for that site means is that if your site is associated uh, with an application in the app store, uh, let's say, you know, there's a Bing app, and if I press that button, basically what it'll do is it'll redirect me to the marketplace store where I can go in then and download the Bing application and install it to the Metro interface and use it as such, which I think is really cool and gives more of an integration step. Now, moving on more to the interface, you might be wondering, well, how can I see tabs or are there even tabs? Well, of course there are. On the desktop, you would want to right click, but if you were on a tablet, you would want to do whatever's equivalent to a right click, which I think might be two fingers or holding a finger down. I don't even know what the tablet uh, has in store for that. But you now see your tabs up here. They're in a uh, nice laid out fashion. When you have more tabs, you can just click this uh, plus button and you can see more tabs popping up. Uh, up there and if you wanted to close a tab you just click that big old X button and of course the privacy mode just click that new in private tab to view everything now we're going to take a quick look at settings and to get there you want to right click on the bottom right go up to the gear icon and you have quick access to your Internet Explorer settings you have internet options which goes from any things from location to browser history to zoom levels uh, to predictive pages to auto load them uh, more effectively and quickly Quickly. You also have uh, the about section, the help section, and even permissions for notifications that are allowed to use Internet Explorer as well. Moving on, we also have uh, a, a wide range of different things that you can actually use uh, these Metro interface for. And let's say you were on a website, but you wanted to go to your desktop interface because it may uh, not have been supported in the Metro interface or you wanted to have a, uh, a more customized design. Well, it's very simple. You just come back to this gear icon and go view on desktop and it throws you right into your desktop and opens up a new window and shows you exactly where you were. And if I don't resize the window because I don't know how to click on windows, you can actually use it as is you are in Internet Explorer 10. And if I go to uh, about Internet Explorer here, this is Internet Explorer 10, uh, which is the latest version of Internet Explorer. And you can use it just as if you were using a regular web browser with opening up multiple tabs, uh, using frequently uh, gone links and stuff like that, uh, downloads, safety, add-ons, uh, what have you. And you can even go to uh, your Internet Explorer gallery for pinned sites. Uh, as well and you can switch and come back 
to whatever you have. So this is really it of Internet Explorer 10. Uh, I think I've gone over the uh, gist of it, and I think I've gone over everything that people have been asking questions for. So if you do have any additional questions, you can email me, creighton at logiclounge.com. Also, don't forget to follow our social media profiles on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Google+, Plus, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe to this video, and don't forget to share this video as well with your friends, your family, with anybody that lets us know that we're making good content and that it gives us kind of an idea of what we should be creating content for. So we always like and, uh, your comments to us and we try to respond uh, to as much as we can. So this has been a short look of Internet Explorer 10 on the Microsoft Windows 8 Internet Explorer 10 in the Metro interface. So until tomorrow, we'll see you guys later.